And I'm happy to, to call on stage uh, some friend of us, uh, starting from UN Sample, that is part of our ste steering committee. I'm sure you know it. You know him, and uh, uh, he's very supportive in in the work, uh, in the hard work building the conference. Uh, another wo another friend uh, who is Alessandro Colafranceschi, uh, head of mobile, please. Head of mobile and um, for Unicredit, and he's a friend of the conference because he was on the couch even the last year, so we're happy to have him. And uh, a new friend, uh, Davide Passero. Uh, Davide is the managing director of Genertel, that is the online company, online insurance uh, of the Generali Group not far from here. <laughs> I am happy that Generali is part of, of the show. So, this panel, maybe you, you saw the, the title of the panel, is about smart customer, smart commerce, and we have on the couch a bank, one of the most important European bank, an insurance, one of the most important European insurance, and then we asked Ewan to do the customer. So <laughs> basically, we, we're going to ask him to. Uh, Ewan has, has written a very important book about the organization and social media, has a very important blog about how companies communicate internally and not just internally. So I'm happy to have his help for this panel to give you an example of what we are talking about. Uh, I was talking with uh, Alessandro now. Uh, Facebook is, we don't know still when, but Facebook is working on a bank app uh, in, the, uh, in the next years or maybe months. They're going to have a bank inside Facebook and, and an, an app for, for, for for, for your account, um, Tesco too, in, in the last days, announced that. So, uh, we, we can see that the market is changing, as we said this morning, and even players who don't originally do that kind of, of work are joining the competition. So, my, my first question is, how a traditional bank and a modern too, but with very old values and, and, and people working is facing this, this challenge. How do you work outside it and, and, and say, what's going on? Okay, <laughs> very difficult, challenging question. Um, it, it's, I like to think at uh, uh, what's, what's happening like uh, being finished the first half of the game it's something is finished the first 12 15 years of uh, of work that we've been doing in building the the infrastructure the the services online for customers so we've been working for 12 years let's say 15 years in some cases um, and now we are in a middle a half time break Something like that, really. Mm. This is what is my perception. Uh, maybe because of the crisis. Maybe because it's getting bigger, a lot bigger. Um, internally, in companies, top managers, uh, senior managers are a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, concerned about that. So they are thinking, how to enter the second, the second half of the game, which, by the way, won't be the second only. There will be many, many halves of, of game, but uh, we will be entering soon in the second half, and that second half will be a lot bigger, a lot more complex, and, and there will be bigger, uh, bigger challenges at stake. So this is a very strange time. Uh, we've been... Uh, designing, producing, developing a lot of uh, services online, uh, mobile banking uh, for customers. Customer 
customer increase, online customer increase has been massive, massive. We have uh, more than 3 million customers online today, active customers. A lot of customers, 700,000 700, customers per day. This is a huge number that enter every single day in the online branch. How many people do enter a, a physical Unicredit bank now? <laughs> a few hundreds, mm -hmm. a few hundreds, maybe. Maybe. This, what, what is changing is the consumption of financial services. Um, online, uh, customers uh, enter the, their virtual branch uh, almost three, four times a week on, on mobile apps. They enter every day. So this is changing a lot. The way the, 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 the relationship is going to be uh, managed internally and, uh, and uh, as, a, as an ecosystem outside. So this is very, it's very interesting. Uh, and, and just to, just to summarize some, some very important things is one of the most important challenges that we face is speed. Speed in everything. Speed in conversation, speed in releasing. For, for, for example, I was talking with a Spanish bank yesterday in Madrid, and uh, the, the speed that we are requested to innovate, mm -hmm. it's, it's really unbearable, almost unbearable. We release new services, let me say, in 12 months. This is not responding to the, the customer request, what customers expect from us. But that means that internally we have huge challenges in terms of processes, culture, uh, the way we work together, um, the way we break uh, the, the, the walls. No? It's huge. In a large company like, uh, like Unicredit, uh, it's a huge, huge uh, challenge, a long journey. I was speaking about big products and, and big brands entering a market originally not for them, uh, but then you, turn, you turned on, on customers. So uh, customers maybe is the real subject. Uh, in, if you think about banking or insurance, uh, the customer didn't have so much control in the last days, in, in the last years. Well, today they, they are able to, to control everything. Um, I'd like to know about Speaking about speed, uh, Davide manages a, a company that was born 20 years ago as the first, uh, actual first online insurance in Italy. So you had the speed, but then the market, even the online insurance market became very crowded. And the last thing that I, men I, I can mention is the aggregators. So Speed is not enough. No, it's not enough. <laughs> you have to keep up uh, your pace and uh, maintain a, a deep watch on what's uh, going on uh, uh, in the market uh, and around, and especially in the consumer attitudes. Uh, going back to your uh, initial question, entering uh, 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 new, 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 new entrants uh, in uh, in the, for example, in the insurance arena. If you think about the insurance, the insurance industry, industry industry is based on predictive analytics. I mean, insurance use data in order to forecast the probability of events. Mm -hmm. So, if you look it uh, from this perspective, uh, you should bet on the fact that the insurance industry is one of the best uh, well placed uh, in order to uh, uh, to keep uh, the most of the value of current days because uh, you have uh, massive data more uh, granular analysis uh, huge uh, calculation capabilities but uh, the reality is that this is not the case mainly because uh, of uh, culture. Uh, the industry is uh, based uh, on uh, old-fashioned uh, uh, approach to, to, to data management. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, 
uh, is a risk for the industry and at the same time it's uh, an opportunity because in this, uh, with this perspective you will have for, su uh, for sure winner and loser. And the, it's not clear who will uh, be the winners, mm -hmm. but certainly the, the, what's going on, the availability of data, the data processing capabilities, and uh, the uh, superior customer insight that you can have on one side, and the demanding uh, customer that you face will uh, shape uh, probably even new competitors, mm -hmm. but also will enable uh, current competitors to gain market share on one side or uh, go out of the business on the other. That's my, my, my feeling. And uh, as uh, our company is concerned, we are, we are trying to, 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 to drive the wave, to drive the wave and uh, smart, uh, smart uh, mm. is our keywords in these days. Mm. We have uh, strategic, uh, strategic uh, uh, projects on smart pricing, smart selection, smart assistance, Smart uh, is uh, it's really the name of the game of these days. But what was the impact of aggregators let, on, on, on Genertel, let's say? Uh, did, did, the, the did impact the aggregators of aggregators made you easy. smarter? We, we decided to stay out of the aggregators and we actually are the only online company in Italy that mm -hmm. decided to stay out of the aggregators up to now. Mm -hmm. They are uh, growing uh, fast. They are offering uh, a, a significant service to the final client in terms of comparison. They, uh, on some ways, provide opportunities of choice. On the other, uh, I mean, are very, very price focused on and are address what we call web hunters. That are the ones who look for the best price in town at the, the minimum of the value. That is not uh, our current position because uh, we, we try to, to provide uh, a value proposition based on uh, convenience and, uh, and, uh, and uh, quality in the service. Uh, and that doesn't fit uh, as far as today with, uh, with the, the, the aggregators. But I mean, it's something that you have to look at because uh, I mean, uh, uh, they are there mm -hmm. and they can be an opportunity and, uh, or, or, or a treat, and uh, you have to, to, to learn how to manage it. But yes. I mean, the, the, the aggregator actually are not uh, the, the, the most uh, important uh, um, uh, topics in the insurance market in my mind, because I mean, uh, when we talk about aggregator, we talk about uh, motor insurance, mm -hmm. but the, when you go online, uh, uh, you, you, you talk about uh, uh, people's life, and that means uh, coverage for uh, Indeed. home, uh, life, pension, and, and for that uh, I must remember that uh, uh, currently we are the only company that offers uh, life products, pension products, uh, uh, home products, uh, a whole range of services on the web. If, if I think about uh, a common keyword for banks and insurance, maybe trust is, is the most important value because uh, in the bank account you have your money, in the insurance you put money to have future, let's say, no? Uh, not just to, to cover your car from, from an accident. And uh, so to bring this trust to be relevant every day, you need conversation that, that is, was I, I was thinking, and uh, not to quote again Doxius, but you and what you, uh, what, what would you say about conversation, not just uh, in, with banks and insurance, but big companies with uh, very long history uh, that have then to, to be challenged every day. Well, and, and also just to, if, I, if I may just go back to a couple of comments about those two sets of stories, because for me as a customer, increasingly both services are just utility. I, 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 I access them almost exclusively through a website. Mm -hmm. 
I have no real experience of the company other than that website. I can chop and change much more readily. They've just changed the legislation in the UK and it's much easier to, to move banks or, or whatever else. So when I'm at that first level of need, if you like, I choose on the basis of the best company giving me data. So for instance, the bank I use is because they've got a great online site. Mm -hmm. They help me to see what I'm spending. They help me to make smarter decisions about what I'm spending that money on. Then if I stray away from that and I want to make a change as I did with my business bank, I then open up this can of worms which is their own processes. And so it's almost like these companies are trying to be 2.0 facing outwards when they're not even 1.0 inside. So I had to wait while people faxed, copied, faxed paper documents to India, mm -hmm. which then got worked on and then faxed and copied back onto paper back in, you know. So that frustrates me. Um, if I want to talk to someone and I go through the normal call center situation to the conversation point, I can't have a conversation with someone who has decision making abilities more often than not, it's, or it's difficult to, I have to escalate to get to that. And then the third level of need, if you like, is when, when my life changes. And so we wanted to extend our mortgage to put a, an extension on our house. And I went to see the local bank manager who was still acting like a traditional bank manager. He sat with the suit and the tie behind the desk, was slightly patronizing and condescending towards me. And he's sitting at a computer asking me questions. And it dawned on me that he's not deciding whether I get the mortgage or not. The algorithm in the computer is deciding it. Mm -hmm. And I could fill the data in faster than he could. So I'm thinking, you know, will you go off and have a coffee somewhere and leave me to fill this in? But I then paused and I thought, well, actually, I wanted him to be like a real bank manager. I wanted him to know about my family and my circumstances and my levels of risk. So I, so I, I wanted the benefits of an institution that has been around for a long time accessible to me. So I think, going back to your question about conversations, yeah. I think so much of digital mm -hmm. has been about efficiency and process and cutting down the experience to a minimum. I think it's going to be interesting to see who can differentiate themselves by helping me to have a better conversation with a smart person in their institution. I see that. Mm, one of the other keywords I, I put on, on my notes is, is platform. Uh, because if you think about a, a traditional bank, they, they have a huge distribution and, uh, and, and the big logo. And, but uh, try to think as uh, Apple or Amazon that created a market for themselves and they then decided to open it, let's say, in a, in a sort of open it uh, to others. Um, if you think about banks, banks should accelerate how people pay each other. So what's your goal in, in this area? Uh, if, if, you, if you talk about uh, uh, platforms, I think uh, it comes to the most difficult challenge that banks, uh, traditional banks, have now. I think uh, uh, most banks have uh, infrastructure, IT infrastructure that has been built uh, uh, through years, decades. Hmm. And now we have to adapt. In, in my role, online mobile banking, I have to adapt that kind of uh, platform that has been designed, has been developed to serve an offline customer, okay, now I have to, we have to adapt that platform to serve an online customer. And this is very, very uh, difficult because uh, ideally, uh, if, he, if we say, if we look at uh, the online banks that are growing up, uh, they are being built like uh, new plants. 
new plants with new infrastructure, new technologies, new platforms. And so they are, more, they are quicker than us. So the large banks, the traditional banks, are facing a very important challenge, first of all, in platforms, adapting, if not changing those platforms, to be able to, uh, to serve the new customer at that speed. Mm -hmm. At that speed. I mean, what you're talking about payments. Um, think for a moment at PayPal. Which, it, it's huge. It's huge. Nearly 200 million customers worldwide. And they are very quick in developing new things on that platform. But that platform exists. They've been there for a few years. Um, so, uh, not to mention Facebook that now is doing this. Uh, these new digital uh, uh, operations are new, so they have new platforms. We have to work with different platforms, very old platforms. What we are doing is just to find uh, new ways to make uh, uh, the, core, the core banking still there, mm -hmm. but uh, being able to use the front end in a very, in a very uh, uh, friendly way, very usable way, uh, allowing us to design better services, allowing customers to, to get what they need in terms of usability, in terms of content, in terms of everything. What if we end up going faster than you? I mean, and this is for the insurance business as well. I mean, and I've been reading up a lot about Bitcoin and blockchains and things. And just, and, and with insurance, the, the willingness I have to share you patterns, share patterns of my behavior with yourselves to you know, enable you to do that side of the business. And that sense of trust that, that, that Benjamino was talking about and who I will or won't share data with. And the prospect of self-insuring or then villages and towns insuring each other because they're local and they understand the risks. So in a sense, while we still, I think, need the expertise of both industries, sorry, Benjamin, but, but the speed at which we can work stuff out because we're not un encumbered with the organization, sometimes it's faster. A lot of, a lot of uh, uh, let's say, question to be, to be addressed. Um, first, uh, I would make uh, one comment uh, on the touch points mm -hmm. and, uh, and the, um, the, uh, the element of trust. Uh, of course, uh, we are in an environment where trust is not given forever. And uh, certainly, there is one point that uh, is the one that Avian was mentioning the fact that uh, the, let's say, digital environment permits something that was not, uh, I mean, permits something and, and break up a paradigm. And the paradigm of the past was uh, that in order to provide a better service, you have uh, to accept uh, higher cost. While in the current uh, paradigm, if you make sole service, you have uh, the possibility engaging the clients entering his data to provide better service because you can enter the data 24 hours a day, seven days per week at uh, lower cost. So that's uh, a, a first point uh, on which, uh, let's say, big and traditional organizations are not custom to because they always have uh, some, somewhere in, the mi in their mind the fact that uh, in order to provide higher service, you need the high, to accept a higher cost per contact. Mm -hmm. What I disagree on the, on the Avian is uh, that uh, this is enough uh, and uh, that the live, con live contact uh, or the high touch contact uh, is losing uh, uh, importance. I, I have a, 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 an episode of a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days ago. We, we, we had a, a, a tweet on, from one of our clients that uh, was uh, uh, posting the fact that uh, two, two days ago was her birthday and, they rece and she received uh, 
a couple of uh, uh, happy birthday email from companies, among which Genertel, there was Genertel, Wind, uh, but she said, uh, she was posting the fact, okay, email, but today is my birthday, I, I didn't receive uh, a call. And we saw the, the post, uh, we call her for a uh, happy birthday, and they, uh, she posted another, an additional tweet uh, saying, I received uh, a, a call for my birthday. And that's, uh, the, the lesson is uh, that kind of activity enhanced trust. But if you knew how old she was, she might feel differently about you being public and getting in touch. I mean, there's a level of creepiness about this that... My, my, my point is that uh, uh, the, the touch point, are ch the, the, the consumer habits and the digitalization change the kind of interface, but uh, leaves additional opportunity in the uh, high-touch uh, part. So you can uh, uh, give data backs to, to client, and that's fine. I do not uh, need uh, any, uh, any, any personal to make uh, data entry and whatever, but you have nevertheless uh, to focus on how to, to give back uh, rewards and, and, uh, and uh, high-touch uh, uh, attention. But doesn't mean that you have to use uh, the telephone, but it's something that needs uh, personal touch. Um, and that, the, the second point is uh, about uh, um, uh, profiling and customer behavior and uh, how this affects uh, insurance. It's, it's very true. That at the very end, uh, if you, uh, I'm graduate in economics, uh, and uh, if you study the economic theory, they teach you that insurance is based uh, on asymmetric information. We can gain from insurance uh, collecting people because uh, we have information in, in terms of prediction that each single participant do not have. And it's true if they make a community, they could conceive uh, to uh, insure themselves. But uh, this is uh, the very old story of insurance, because insurance uh, were, were, were based uh, on the mutuality and on community. On mutu so in, in some sense, uh, that is not uh, a new story. The very story is uh, which uh, will be the shape uh, of this uh, on one side, and on the other, how we'll manage risk in this uh, uh, environment. Because uh, additional, uh, we, we are also in a, in a, in a world where the digitalization, one of the effects of the digitalization is the reduction of risk. In terms of, uh, I'm not more informed, more I can prevent, I can have access to information on health, on whatever. And the reduction of risk is, someone says that, that is a good news for insurer, and probably in the short run is. But in the long run, no risk means no insurance. And that's uh, also a tricky, a tricky point for insurers. Yeah, it, an ethical question too, maybe. <laughs> but um, going back to, uh, to, to, to smartness, uh, my, my idea is that banks and, and insurance do has a lot of data about us. So they can make us smarter because you know a lot of things. You know how the financial market is going. You know how maybe you know how old uh, I will <laughs> live because you have a lot of data um, based on if I oh, we would not talk about my age or, or my, my life, but my, my scooter in, in Trieste will cost less uh, to be insured than in Rome because you, you know that, okay. But do you feel you are making your customers smarter? And uh, considering that today you really have access every day uh, through the mobile apps that, as we said before, 
till the last days, the last year, we didn't have this real contact. How how are you filling this this gap and and telling us how to do, how to do better? The good thing about uh, uh, platform, going back to platform, which is uh, one important piece, that uh, banking will be mobile. Really, mobile will be the whole thing, the whole story. And mobile uh, is basically a new platform. So with mobile, we can do things that uh, with traditional banking we could You couldn't. think you will be able to ask for a mortgage through oh, okay. mobile? <laughs> let, me, let me talk. If in terms of uh, delivering services, okay, mm -hmm. mobile is going to be a new platform. And we see that now we can design things differently. Okay, easier, if you like, uh, quicker. So the, the front end uh, will be better for the customers. Then you have the processes, okay. We are designing new processes. Um, this is tricky, this is very tricky, but uh, now, for example, we have uh, the possibility, we, we allowed customers to open a new current account online with no paperwork, no paper, 100% paperless. And that's, that's something that you were saying. Now, I don't want to go to the branch. I want to open my account from the web, not online, and you can do it. 24 hours, you have your full standard current account working. We saw, for example, that uh, um, the, the process fully online was working. But when we added the possibility to add, uh, uh, the, the, to, to be supported by a person, on a contact center, while he was or she was filling that form, she was doing whole paperwork because you have to do something, okay? It won't be on paper, it won't be printed and sent, mm -hmm. but you have to, to send us digital proof of uh, identification, these things. So we added a, a multi-channel process with human support, we doubled the success rate of that process. So still, I agree uh, with you about that uh, uh, we don't sell books. Um, so the, the, the personal element is still very important. But as a, let me say, as a side factor, as a side factor, is an enabler, is a, is a, is a support, is, is something that uh, I want to do this. 70% uh, of our users, our customers, choose the online experience. Okay, they are online. Yes, mm -hmm. fair. But they can choose. Fix an appointment in branch, do your stuff online. 70% choose that. They want to do that online. But in the middle, they get some difficulties. They, they have questions, so they need people. Processes, we are doing that. Mm -hmm. Data. This is uh, a very important thing. I mean, for ages, banks have kept that data inside. My money, if I went inside the internet banking, I had, you had to dig to find your money information, no? And most of the time you failed to find what you were looking for. Now, most banks are working to, uh, to make uh, the personal finance manager, that, that's, let me say, the service attached to data management, personal data management. So we are bringing on the surface all this data. And this will be really interesting for customers because they will be allowed to do everything, to see, to project their financial expenditures, the savings, the investments, in a totally different way. That will be different. This is uh, most possible because of mobile now. Sort of coming back to the trust issue, and I know Adriana is going to talk about privacy tomorrow, mm -hmm. but I want you to get smarter at helping me make decisions about my money. So in other words, that you know that my phone is in this country and, and there will be maybe certain aspects of my account and my usage that, that might change. But sort of back to the insurance world as well, if you start to get creepy and know too much and become too proactive, then I'm going to get cautious about what I do or don't share with you. So it's, it's a balancing act, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, 
The, man, the data management uh, and the awareness uh, of the final clients uh, on the use of the data is, uh, is, uh, is uh, really a, 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 a topic uh, to be addressed uh, independently, I would say, from the privacy legislation. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's a, a, a way of conducting uh, sound business at the very end. Because uh, the, my perspective, that is more than a, 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 a feeling, is that uh, for what we are saying, data means uh, value. So when clients provide provides data, he is providing value in addition to the price that is paying for the service or whatever. And so, if this is the case, let's put it in this way, we, we, we should, the, 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 the attitude of the client will be announced in, with this respect, and we, he will more and more ask for having uh, benefits from providing data. It's going to be the new money. The new money is data. People uh, is prepared to pay to have uh, followers. Uh, and that's uh, the, 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 the new environment. So uh, uh, it's a, li a little provocative, but not too much. To, 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 to imagine a future where data transfer will have uh, substitute money transfer. Well, I always, and some business model at the very end start and were based on receiving free services in exchange of data. Um, uh, one, one, know, one application. I, I know one, a, tiny, one, a tiny social network called Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but even more traditional data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more traditional services. Because, of, okay, of course, uh, Facebook, uh, it's Facebook, it's one. But, I'll, I'll, but, I'll but call the idea, the idea, cross industry, the idea that the, the transfer mm -hmm. of the data is value. And more and more the clients will be aware that w this transfer means transferring value, and so I expect to receive benefits from mm -hmm. that. It's not so well, well spread. No, in, in, in some ways, you, you started this thing, if I, I'm correct, you, you put some box in cars to, to, to check how the people is driving. Yeah, that, that's a good example. Mm -hmm. we, uh, and, and this is the example I, I wanted to highlight uh, in the, when we say that there is an exchange. We, 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 we've been the, 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 the very first and actually the, the only company in Italy to provide a, a policy based on the driving style of the clients. And that uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is a value proposition that basically says that the more you drive carefully and you are prudent, and the more you get uh, safety credits, that will reduce uh, your, the amount of your, your, of your policy. We were well concerned about uh, the privacy issue. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, we, let's say, uh, limited and, uh, and protected the user data only for this purpose, mm -hmm. because these are very sensitive data. But says that, People are definitely prepared to provide, provide data in order to re receive that service. Mm -hmm. Not for doing anything else, but for that uh, they are prepared to make themselves uh, tracked in the use of the car. That is not so... No. Uh, I mean... Uh, you have so, to so, think about so, it. So, so uh, given for, 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 for free in some ways. Mm -hmm. uh, no? so, and, and that's uh, uh, really uh, a success story because uh, we, we had uh, 
more than 100,000 clients uh, that uh, accepted the deal. Well, I'm quite happy because we talked a lot about platform trust and all, all the keywords I had on, on my <laughs> on my Moleskine. So uh, I'd like to ask the room if you have some questions and and you all have an insurance and you all have a bank account, I guess. So maybe you want to yell at them or maybe to ask them something. Shoot. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was just wondering about more detail on how you assess driving style for, for the thing you were talking about, about people providing information for better service on the, the, the car insurance. The, the, the box put in, in, in the cars? You, you, you mean the... Yeah, I mean, and so the, the algorithm that you use for that, like to what extent do the customers know what it is that you're assessing? Or, or is it a black box where they're just, they put the box in and then, oh, you're bad, you're expensive, or oh, you're good, you're, you're cheaper, and they don't know why? Um, good question. Uh, we, um, we track the, the, the consumer, the consumer, the client's uh, uh, driving style through uh, a system that is based on elements uh, that track uh, the driving hours, the type of uh, uh, roads, the subjective the uh, way of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of driving style, that means accelerator, uh, acceleration and deceleration, so if more or less nervous and so on and so forth. And uh, we reported uh, daily the amounts of credits uh, that is gaining. And uh, we have uh, an app that is uh, the General Tell app where you have uh, a dashboard where you see your current level uh, split by uh, type of, uh, of results. If you are driving uh, too much uh, in rushing hours, which is more uh, dangerous or not, uh, which kind of styles, how many kilometers, uh, uh, if you, if so you, you can improve. You, you and you provide the, all this information and also advise in some ways mm -hmm. in how to improve your credits. Okay. So you, you, you uh, tell so them it's, uh, the, the criteria. It's, uh, it's something that you can track uh, if you want on a daily basis. We have compulsive clients that every day goes to see how they, but they are a minority, of course. <laughs> a very niche. Okay. Another one there. Hi, I have a comment and a question. I'm really struck about the sort of difference between what Ewan was asking for at the beginning, which if I understand correctly, as someone who is very connected, knows how to analyze his own data, knows what services he wants, wants to talk to a real smart person at the end of a phone or have a real conversation with someone about specific issues he may face with insurance or banking. And in the mainstream of the sector, um, banking, at least, platforms have um, cut out the middleman, cut out the bank manager, the, 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 the desire for improvement and, and cuts in the large organizations has got rid of that. So quite often you're offered a bot to chat to or an instant chat. But in the UK, at least, I don't know about Italy, it, I, I would say it'd be very hard pressed to find anybody who would trust um, banks to give them advice about how to save and manage their money, given what we've been through in the sector. And financial services haven't had the best reputation over time. So what, it, what you seem to be describing at the other end is a very advanced um, future of smart use of data analytics, which may or may not be collected in ways that people approve of going forwards. So you've got a very, very long gap between those people who are online and know how to ask for what they need and those people coming online into these services who may be grateful for the kind of platforms you provide. How, how, can you re, how can you get trust and how can you win the confidence that these uses of data you know, is beneficial because even 
in the academic sector, we know now this data rush, this oil rush, is proving quite complex, that not all data is equal, it's not all collected equally, it's not all produced equally, it's not all distributed equally, it, it, it isn't all trustworthy. Let's start saying that, uh, 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 okay, we share with, with UK, with the UK and with, uh, with most of other countries, the fact that uh, in banking trust is very low, so that's, it's common. But we have to say that uh, uh, Italy is very different from, from the UK as, as, uh, as well as from the US or northern countries, uh, European countries. Um, in Italy, one out of two Italians are not online. One out of two. And this reality. This makes a, a big, cha big difference in the marketplace. Um, so this is just to respond to your question, first question. In terms of uh, uh, dealing with data, I think, uh, the, 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 I don't know, the, 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 the privacy uh, issue is, is big, for sure. Um, if, you, if you consider banking services, uh, banks hold your money. We, we, we hold your value, your money. We, we, we see everything about how you spend your money, okay. And this has been always like that, okay. Even in old days when uh, there was a, a man behind the desk, uh, not the teller, that he was looking there, he, he, what, what, what could you know about him telling somebody else you know, how you were spending? Okay, but that's another story. Let me say, we have that amount of information. This is our job. I think the, the biggest improvement of ser service in banking will be if we are able, if we, when we will be able, to handle those huge amount of data, pack, okay, and serve to our customers in a way that they can use it with value and, and make that value, that, that data, a value not only for the bank or for the insurance, but also for the customer. And privacy there is a sort of uh, a non-issue. I don't know, really. It's, it's the, the, we must keep... Uh, uh, your data, the customer data, safe, as well as money are, must be safe, okay? This is our job, and we are making all the best we can, okay, in that. Um, we are not Facebook. Uh, we don't play with data. We want to use that data for customers and to provide customers the best understanding of how they spend money, how they invest money, and then trust, uh, to me, it comes to the point that uh, that information is transparent, is well served, it works. No, I mean, I'm very happy with some, uh, some e-commerce sites and I trust them. Why? Because they work. They work. Uh, and they are maybe in the US. I don't know anything about them. But they, they are providing me a, a phenomenal service. So I tend to trust them. I don't know whether I answer your question. I'm, I, I'd be grateful to have an app telling me how much I'm spending on, on one thing on, on another, so I'm waiting for that. We will come very, very soon, very soon. <laughs> okay. Any question again? Okay, so thank you very much. We had a great conversation. Thank you.